first of all, I just want to thank all the fans that were here tonight. We had a great, great turnout. Um, and also, I'm really, really proud of our uh, defensive effort in, in the second half. Um, I thought they, they kind of contributed when we got consecutive stops uh, and we were able to, to hold them for did two different four-minute segments without scoring. I thought our fans really responded and then finally our kids responded to our fans. So it was a little bit of give and take between the two and that made a, made a big difference. Uh, uh, another key in addition to the fan support and a couple of defensive four-minute segment stops of holding Butler without scoring. I thought our post did a fantastic job of going uh, between Danielle Habel and Allison Pappenfuss and Jill Stein. They combined for 60% on 13 of 22. Uh, so we were able to get the ball inside. Uh, we were able to slip some screens uh, and get some e easy buckets in the first half and, and second half. So uh, that, that combination tonight wor worked well for us. Would you talk a little bit about the, was there an adjustment defensively in the second half or just doing what you do better? Well, as Dan Dockage used to say, we sang a little kumbaya at halftime. No, we really wanted to uh, pressure them. Uh, I thought we could have done a better job in the first half. Uh, I, we went over their plays ad nauseum for the past three days. Uh, I felt like our kids knew what was coming. Uh, we were shouting out instructions as a staff, and we were able, therefore, to jump into some passing lanes, and they were forced to make catches outside scoring areas at, as well throughout the second half. Can you talk a little bit about the energy the bench provided for you tonight? You, know, you mentioned the post, but I think everybody came off the bench for you to go positive. Yeah, I can't remember the last time we had a game where we had more pr scoring production from our bench compared to our starters. Granted, it was 34 points to 33, but that was a fantastic stat. And we, we got um, production out of Allison Pappenfuss, who had been struggling. We got production out of Jill Stein, who had been struggling. They both needed a shot of confidence, and they got that tonight, and were able to get some scores on, on the inside, which we needed to get us going. Will you talk a little bit about the offense to start the second half? There were a couple of turnovers, but I think you made like five of the first six shots you took or something like that. Yeah, we, we wanted to, to slip a lot of ball screens uh, and rise our opposite post or get our opposite post out of there. So we were able to get some good slipping action. Uh, we were able to get some high lows as well. I actually wanted the ball to go inside even more with the percentage that we were shooting. But uh, we also, I thought we could get to the line a little better tonight. Uh, we didn't get some, uh, didn't get there, but I thought we got there um, by that slipping action by, by our post players. With us setting so many screens each time down, that was a point of emphasis for the past three days with our kids. You got really good play out of the post. Alexis struggled. Was that, I mean, is, get it, is that basically she's on the bench because you've got other players you're playing well and you've got to have them on the floor? Yep, I became a little bit of Jim, Jim Harbaugh. I was going with the, the hot hand tonight. And uh, as opposed to Kaepernick, I, I went with Jill Stein and, and Matt Nicholas. <laughs> so they, they stepped up and produced. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we have kids that are ebbing and flowing. A couple are in some doldrums. Allison has been going in a doldrum a little bit, going 0 of 8 combined out of the last two games. Yet she's getting to the foul line and scoring. And now she came out and, and made 5 of 7. All right, so she's back on the rise. Now I've got Lex who's been playing well, and now she's in a little bit of doldrum. So I'm waiting for the day where we can get all our posts clicking, but I was happy that we got three out of four clicking today. And as I said, going 13 out of 22 is a great percentage for us by our three post players. And will you talk a little bit about the defense? This is, I mean, you struggled the other day and won because you played such good defense. It, that's kind of what this team has to do to win, doesn't it? It's defense first and foremost. We got to do a lot of things to win. I, I'm not quite sure you know if, if mean, it's uh, the defensive pressure. I, I honestly now uh, being more offensive minded, uh, having worked for Coach Miller for 12 years and really focusing on defensive adjustments and getting play calls and talking in the huddle solely about defense and now making that change 
literally 12 inches down down the row right. into another seat. I'm so focused on, on offensive uh, play calling, and I'm really relying a lot on, on Jesse Fleming and Emily London, and Jesse's jumping into the huddle first like I used to and, and talking about defensive adjustments. We, wanted, we had specific ways we wanted to guard each of their eight players tonight. And I thought we did a good job of that for the most part. Uh, we had, we let Hannah Douglas go a little bit too much to her left. And she's, she's a kid that dropped 15 on us last year as a freshman. And she had another great game. Uh, we recruited her the heck out of her. Uh, I think she's a fantastic player, but we let her go to her strength one too many times. So, um, but another key I thought, in addition to some of the defensive adjustments that Emily and Jesse made, but we did another good job on glass as well, out rebounding a team by by 11. So they they are playing three posts as well with Brewer, McClung, and Raker, and then we countered that with uh, Stein, Pappenfuss, and Haywell, and we won that that battle tonight. Because you you look at McClung and, and Shippers in, in general, though, those two kids. For, for Butler, average about 60% of their scoring. They take close to um, 30, 32 attempts uh, from the field each game out of the team's average, only average is 59. So we, we did a good job of, of holding both of them below their average, because Shipper average is close to 20, uh, she had 12. Uh, McClung average is close to 15, and she had nine. So I, I'm really happy that we were able to contain them because those two kids are BCS transfers for, for Butler and are fantastic scorers. And if they had a career night, we weren't going to win tonight. And we were able to, to limit their their production. And, and when you say contain them, it's not necessarily just containing points, it's containing scoring opportunities, right? That's what correct. I, th those two kids are such fantastic scorers. We had to contain them. We weren't going to shut them down. We had to limit them. Like I said, they because they, they average about 30, 35, we, we wanted them to be held below their average for us to be successful. And we needed to get to, to Butler's bench. And I thought we, we did that. They have, um, they're only playing eight, eight kids. And we needed to, to run. And we needed our bench to, to show up tonight. And, and they did that. And that was the, the big difference. When you look at bench scoring for, for Butler as well, 34 to 7, it, we, we won that battle. Going back to the offense for one second, do you feel like you're getting more comfortable handling that part of the game? Oh, I, I do. I, I really enjoy it. Um, I, I have felt comfortable. The one thing that I'm struggling with is when I yell a play, they're still not hearing me. Uh, unfortunately, I can't stomp my shoes uh, <laughs> like Coach Miller did. Uh, I, I wear uh, a little bit softer sole than what, what he does. Um, Maybe or what he did. Uh, I unfortunately neither one of us could whistle, so my voice will sound like this for three days, and then I'll get it back for the Northwestern game. But uh, my my biggest struggle was for for them he hearing me. That's why the, the jacket comes off a little bit sooner than uh, than what I would like it to. But I have yet to throw it like Coach Miller did. No, uh, for, for the record, yes, it's uh, eight right. games in though. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you guys. <laughs>